uh, you know, this stuff is really, everything that's been happening this summer, it's like it's all been taking kind of a, a chunk out of me. And I think what a lot of people don't understand is that my dad died in December, and I was just where my dad lived when he died yesterday. So it's, a lot of shit's on my mind right now. And so what people don't understand is like, why I'm so mad, or why I'm crying in a video, it's because my dad's dead. And I'm really upset about that. And it comes out in like every day in ways I wish it didn't. And you know, I'm so upset that, uh, that it upset people, because that's not what you want to have happen. But I am grieving. So it is difficult when you are grieving and you get online and you grieve in front of everybody, which was stupid to do, but I wanted you guys to see what I was going through. When everyone says, you know, like, you're fake, or that's fake, or you are fake crying or whatever, these are not fake tears. I haven't really cried since. Reddit kind of broke my eyes. I don't cry anymore. But I cried that day. It was his birthday. That's what people don't know. It was his birthday. It was my first time experiencing his birthday without him. And uh, it was a really difficult day for me. And this whole tour has been really difficult for me. But I feel so lucky to be able to do it, to have you guys yeah. here. And I, I feel like I haven't been able to say this all tour. But because I'm in Ann Arbor, I can just kind of t say how I feel. And, you know, I think when you shit on someone when they're in pain, that's so much worse than anything that you thought that they are, did that they are guilty of. We should be good people. We definitely, yeah. when people are down, when people are depressed, and people are crying and stuff, we shouldn't, like, try to make them feel worse. That's just bad. It's just not a good thing, and I think we should all treat each other better. And the way I got treated makes me wonder how everyone else is getting treated, and I hope everyone gets treated a lot better in the future. I'm sure we're capable of it. Because I know you guys treat me amazingly, and I hope we can all do this in our lives and be good examples to everyone else online and in real life. And uh, thank you guys for letting me talk about it. Uh, you know, I know it's not very entertaining. But that's what I'm going through. We're all human beings. I'm, my name is Chris Ward. I'm from Libertyville, Illinois. I come from a family. I have a mother. I have brothers. I have nephews. I have nieces. I'm a human being. And when everyone, like, tells me to commit suicide and calls me names and stuff, you know, that stuff is real. And when it happens to you guys, it's real because it happens to you as well. And we can't just pour a bunch of shit into jars and think that good stuff's going to happen. You know, we got to treat each other well. And I'm always a reflection of what you guys are. So if you give me shit, it's very highly likely that I'm going to give you shit back. But if you're cool to me and you're polite and you're nice, then I'm going to be cool to you and I'm going to be polite and I'm going to be nice. That's how people are. That's how people work. You know, I'm an angry guy if you're an angry guy. I'm a nice guy if you're a nice guy. So that's the end of that. Thank you for listening to me. This next song goes like this. Why kids love hip hop? Why kids love hip hop? Why kids love hip hop? Ooh. That it was my favorite part of the day because it reminds me that I have such amazing fans, that they've been here for a long time, they know the words to my songs, that this is the greatest gift I've ever been given in my life. I will never take it for granted, and I have never taken it for granted, ever. I love you guys so much, and I would die up here for you. Thank you.